Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you a demo of namespaces in Kubernetes clusters. Um, namespaces is a way to separate out your uh, work, work, workloads and, and, and anything else for that matter. So for example, you might have a namespace for staging, you might have one for production or different regions, whatever is your requirement for separating out all the resources. So you can have same exact pod or service or whatever else is running on two different namespaces with the same name and everything, as long as the namespaces are different that when you're deploying resources. So I'm gonna do a demo of that right now. I am connected to a cluster with five nodes. I'm going to alias my kubectl through the letter K, so it's easy to type. Right now, I have five nodes, and I have a few namespaces that I got by default from Google. NS is, sh is short for namespace, by the way. Uh, you see a default namespace, and then you see other three that are part of the control plane and whatnot, not really our concern right now. So I'm going to create a two different namespaces. Okay, create ns, ns1, and then I'm going to create another one, ns2. Now I I now have two namespaces that I've created myself, ns1 and ns2. I'm going to create the same exact pod on two different namespaces. I'm going to get some help online or live to create the name is uh, the, the pod. So this is a super easy and quick way to create a pod, except that I'm going to give it a namespace. So it, it creates this pod into, into that namespace. So that is now created. And I'm going to do the exact same thing in the same, uh, in a different namespace. And you see there's no errors. Now, if I do K get pods, minus A for all namespaces. You will, well, there's, there's, there's a lot running uh, from Google itself. So I'm going to grab out Nginx so you can see the two that I'm talking about. So there's two pods running, one in namespace one and namespace two. And you can just do that. You can have same exact things running in two different namespaces. There's no interaction between them whatsoever. So that's the way to separate out your infrastructure. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That really helped me out. And we will see you next time.